Well, now that we're over the England-Germany hysteria, and who isn't over it? Uh, tomorrow we're going to look at the uh, USA playing Honduras at home. Now, Honduras does not have as much talent as it used to have in the olden days, or like five years ago, ten years ago. We had Carlos Pavon and Carlos Cosley and a few other uh, semi-decent players, Armando Guevara. Right now, they're sort of bare. Not many players in Europe or anybody in Europe. Some players in the Middle East, a few players in the United States and MLS. But they're physical and they're athletic. So their plan would probably to sit back and absorb the pressure and try to match up against the most dribble-worthy American players, which is Pulisic and probably Altidore. 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 On the attack, they'll probably try to get through the U.S. left flank, depending upon who's playing there. If one assumes that Cameron and Brooks are in the middle, and you get quite a bit of pace from Cameron, you get size and Brooks. So you may have to play on the ground against Brooks, probably to cross from the flank against Cameron. Cameron's pretty good, will make occasional mistake. Occasional mistake can become very lethal. U.S. just have to do what Bruce Arena has tried to do since he was a young boy. Go wide, cross into the box. I presume Altidor and Dempsey will be in there. If there is an additional set-piece opportunity, you have Brooks, you have Cameron, you have Bradley, you have Jones, you have some other midget playing somewhere. Jones not a midget, but I kid. Could happen. Let's watch it tomorrow together as a team.